616 right now. The Center for Disease Control reports one in every three American adults is diagnosed with high blood pressure. News 2's Olivia Parsons joins us in the studio this morning. Olivia, there are a lot of factors that determine whether you are able to come off of your blood pressure medication. Octavia, those circumstances do have a lot to do with your food choices, but coming off those medications also depends on your blood pressure levels. Coming off your blood pressure medication is recommended for some, not all. Dr. Kenneth Perry says if you plan on doing so, you need to talk to your primary care doctor. If you're able to get diagnosed with blood pressure numbers that are not overly elevated and you know we hear just a little bit elevated, then maybe you're able to do some things and run around the block a little bit, go for a walk. Then you might have a chance of coming off your medications. If you stop smoking, get a little bit more active, of course all of this with making sure your primary care doctor is okay with it, there is a likelihood that you can make the right choices and have your blood pressure come down. Being able to come off your high blood pressure prescriptions also depends on when you're diagnosed and how high your blood pressure is at that point in time. Because if your blood pressure levels are all over the place, it's beyond the point where we can do some just minor changes. So it really has a lot more to do with getting the numbers checked. So if you're someone who wants to come off of your prescriptions, the more active you are, the more healthy decisions you make, the more likely you are to have better blood pressures. And with the help of your primary care doctor, you're in a much better position of coming off of your medications. Dr. Perry told me that earlier in life that you're diagnosed with high blood pressure, the harder it's going to be to come off those medications, and you should always consult with your doctor first. In studio, Olivia Parsons, Count on Two.